Hi everyone, I'm Mona. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm thrilled to talk about the original It Girl, Clara Bow, and her favorite perfume that she loved and wore. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm all about legendary perfumes and legends who wore them. If that's something you're into, feel free to subscribe, like, and share. A little bit about Clara Bow before I get into the fragrance. She was a fiery, talented, vivacious Leo who was a miracle baby and survived tremendous, horrific abuse um, and so many other things growing up in Brooklyn. And she um, was very ambitious at a young age and dreamed about becoming a movie star, an actress, and her dream came true. At the very young age of 16, against all odds, she won a fame and fortune contest. And um, her career started then at the age of 16. Um, and she became basically the first sex symbol of the screen. But personally, I think she was more than just a sex symbol, but she was a bold um, personality that jumped across the screen and captured America's hearts and people fell in love with her. Um, she inspired and influenced young girls at the time and she really became your ideal flapper girl um, and was the biggest, biggest, um, most popular star of the 1920s silent films and because of her personality, her charisma um, that she was able to convey through her body and her um, just personality she was um, very successful, but overworked and underpaid. And, you know, when you're 16 and you start working and you get caught up with work, I mean, she just got burned out basically and retired by the age of 28 and settled for a more quiet life and fell in love, had a family, um, two sons, and just lived a quiet life on a farm and um, was able to live up until the age of 65. Yes, she had um, psychological problems um, that she wasn't able to heal at a very young age. I mean, who heals themselves at 16? I mean, now we're, you know, we know about um, things we didn't know then, and it's extremely hard. So can you imagine her? Um, I think she was burnt out, and she wanted to focus on herself and healing her life. And I hope she did that by the age of 65. Um, I'm sure she did. And she was never forgotten, never will be forgotten, and inspires people till, till today because she was extremely, extremely modern um, and sort of like a girl that could live in today's world. And I am so thrilled and pleased that I found out one of her favorite perfumes that she definitely loved and wore, all thanks to um, a great biographer who I admire, who wrote one of my favorite books on um, Jean Harlow titled Bombshell. 
and also the amazing uh, biography on Clara Bow entitled Running Wild, which I rented from the library many years ago and read. And um, I reached out to um, Mr. Stern and asked him if it was possible that he knew of a fragrance that Clara wore. And luckily he was generous and kind enough to go into his archives and find an interview um, and the fragrance that she that Clara loved and according to him he said Clara Bow's former daughter-in-law who visited with her from 1961 through 1965 vividly recalled how much she loved white shoulders and how her bedroom smelled of it. Now, White Shoulders is a 1943 American legendary um, perfume. Um, it's been around since then and loved and adored and they still produce it by Elizabeth Arden but when it was launched it was by the house of Hartnell then the house of Evian if you watch my other videos you would know that I love and adore white shoulders as well and worn it since I would say 2013 I fell in love with the modern formula which is, I would say, 80% close to the vintage and it's very good so and very affordable to this day. But so is the vintage uh, formulas, which you can find very easily. Very affordable as well to this day, but very, very delicious and just an amazing perfume. I would describe this as a floral aldehyde fragrance. This is the Eau de Cologne, which I prefer over the x -Trait. There's something more bright about the cologne than the actual parfum, which I do love as well. Don't get me wrong. It lasts much longer, but the cologne is very long lasting as well. And it's just a beautiful, bright, radiant, almost tropical, aldehydic, clean, approachable, utterly feminine perfume. And it's just beautiful. I would like to read the notes real fast so you get a better feel of the perfume. Um, Okay, at the top we have aldehydes, African orange flower, green notes, peach, bergamot. At the heart we have lilac, gardenia, tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley, iris, spices. And at the base we have civetta, oak moss, benzoin, sandalwood, and amber. You do get all these notes surprisingly when you smell this but they're just blended so beautifully i wouldn't call this a uh, femme fatale fragrance at all even though there's um, animal base notes it's not skanky in the least it's just radiant bright cheerful and just a wonderful perfume that I can imagine Clara Bow wearing and just shining in this amazing, legendary American icon as well, which is White Shoulders. I love the cologne so much. I have two bottles and I also enjoy the dusting powder, which I have here, um, and here's the powder puff. It's just a great, affordable, beautiful, classy perfume 
that I am not surprised Clara Bow loved and wore. Um, I want to dedicate this video to all of Clara Bow's fans out there and of course to Clara Bow herself and a special thank you again to biographer, producer, David Sten. And um, I guess with that, I'd like to close. I will see you guys in my next video to come. Thank you and bye-bye.